Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on quadratic equations. In this video, we'll be looking at the quadratic formula and its application. First, the derivation of the formula. The general form of a quadratic equation is given as ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. We are going to derive the quadratic formula from here. The method of completing the square is what we are going to employ. So we are going to first divide true by the coefficient of x squared, which is a. So ax squared divided by a gives x squared, and bx divided by a gives plus bx over a then plus c over a equals zero now we now take this constant term to the right hand side since this is positive on getting to the right hand side it will become negative so we now have x squared plus bx over a equal to negative c over a now we make the left hand side a perfect square how do we do that we take the coefficient of x, which is b over a, then multiply by 1 over 2. That multiplication by 1 over 2 is the method of doing the completing the square. That gives b over 2a, then we square it. Squaring this, we have b squared over 4a squared. So from here now we add this to both sides so that we now have x squared plus b over ax plus b squared over 4a squared is equal to b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. Since we are to add this to both sides, then we now simplify. First we factorize the left hand side. Factorizing this, we open bracket, we pick x. What we have here is addition. So we bring in the addition. Then the square root of b squared over 4a squared will give us b over 2a. Then we now square it. This is equal to making this a single fraction. The LCM is 4a squared. And 4a squared divided by 4a squared gives 1. Multiplied by b squared gives b squared minus 4a squared divided by a gives 4a. Multiplied by c, we now have 4ac. Now we are going to remove this square by finding the square root of both sides. So to do that, we have x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus. We are interested in both the positive and the negative values of the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. So we have it as square root of b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. So we are going to make x the subject of the formula by taking this b over 2a to the right hand side so that we now have x equal to negative b over 2a plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The denominators are the same, so we pick the denominator and make the whole thing a single fraction. 2a divided by 2a gives 1, multiplied by negative b gives negative b, then plus or minus 2a divided by 2a gives 1. Multiply by this, we have root b squared minus 4ac. This gives the quadratic formula. So we shall now be using this to solve quadratic equations in our next slide. So we have problem 1. Problem 1. Use the quadratic formula to solve the following equations. A. x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. B. 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. 
then we are starting with a part of the problem now we are going to introduce our formula which is still x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and uh, we get our a b and c from this equation so from a our a which is the coefficient of x squared is 1 and then b which is the coefficient of x is positive 4 and the constant which is c is given as 3. we now substitute this a b and c into this quadratic formula so that we now have our x to be equal to minus b so that is going to be negative 4 plus or minus square root of b squared which is 4 squared minus 4 times a and our a is 1 then times c which is a 3 so we have it as times 3 everything over 2 times 1 since a is equal to 1 so we go ahead to simplify um, here we simplify what we have inside the square root so we now have negative 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 3 gives 12 then everything over 2a now um, 16 minus 12 is 4 so we are going to have it as negative 4 plus or minus square root of 4 all over 2 then square root of 4 is 2 so we have x equal to negative 4 plus or minus 2 over 2 separating the positive and the negative we have x to be negative 4 plus 2 all over 2 or negative 4 minus 2 all over 2 so negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 negative 2 divided by 2 gives negative 1 so we have x is equal to negative 1 or negative 4 minus 2 gives negative 6 negative 6 divided by 2 gives negative 3 so we have the values of x to be negative 1 negative 3 and that is the end of solution to problem 1a then we go to 1b so for 1b again we still bring out the values of a b and c so our a in problem 1b is 2 since the coefficient of x squared is 2 our b is 3 since the coefficient of x is 3 and our c is negative 1 since the constant term here is negative 1 we then substitute in this a b c into the formula so we have x is equal to negative b that's going to give us negative 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared b squared then minus 4 times 2 since a is 2 then times negative 1 since c is negative 1 everything over 2 times 2 since a is 2 so again simplifying what we have inside the square root we have negative 3 plus or minus square root of 9 so from here now the simplification is since there's negative here we say negative times negative which gives positive then 4 times 2 gives 8 and 8 times 1 gives uh, 8 then everything over 4 so simplifying further we have negative 3 plus or minus square root of 17 then over 4 if you are to leave your answer in sort form all you just need to do is you stop here because there is nothing this cannot be simplified further so the 
root now will be negative 3 plus or minus root 17 all over 4. You can still go further to separate the positive and the negative. For the purpose of this video, we are going to find the square root of 17. We now have negative 3 plus or minus square root of 17 is 4.1231 then over 4. Then we go ahead to say x is equal to negative 3 plus 4.1231 over 4 or x is equal to negative 3 minus 4.1231 over 4. So we simplify this, x will be 0 0.2808 or negative 1.7808. And that is the end of solution to problem 1b. And we're done with problem 1. So we go to problem 2. For problem 2, solve these equations by using the quadratic formula. So again, we have our formula here. And starting from A, we need to get the values of A, B, and C. Our A here, which is the coefficient of x squared, is 1. Our B, which is the coefficient of x, is negative 6. So we have it as negative 6. And C, which is the constant, is positive 5. Then we substitute into this formula so that x becomes minus negative 6. That's minus b. So we now have minus negative 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 5 everything over 2 times 1. So negative times negative gives positive. So we have it as 6 plus or minus square root of 36. Negative 6 squared means negative 6 times negative 6, which gives 36. Then minus 20, since 4 times 1 times 5 gives 20, all over 2. So we go ahead to say 6 plus or minus square root of 16. 36 minus 20 is 16, then over 2. Square root of 16 is 4. So we now have it as 6 plus or minus 4 over 2. So that our x will be separating this 6 plus 4 over 2 or 6 minus 4 over 2. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So x is equal to 5. And 6 minus 4 is 2 divided by 2 gives a 1. So x is equal to 5 or 1. And that is the end of solution to problem 2a. We go to problem 2b. For 2b, we still find our a, which is 3 here. Our b is negative 4, and our c is negative 2. You need to be very conscious of these signs. They are very important. You know when it is positive and when it is negative. So substituting these values of a, b, and c into this formula, we have our x to be equal to negative negative 4 plus or minus square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 2. This is 4ac. Then everything over 2 times 3 since a is 3. So negative negative gives positive plus or minus square root of 16 then minus times minus will give us a plus there 4 times 3 12 
times 3 gives 24 so we this is over 6 here again we simplify this that will give us 4 plus or minus square root of 40 16 plus 24 is 40 everything divide by 6 and um, you may stop here but you have to simplify for that if you have to leave your answer in sort form so we are not leaving our answer in sort form so we find the value of root 40 in decimal this will now give us 4 plus or minus 6.325 over 6 this is approximate value of root 40 to four significant figures and uh, we now go ahead to separate this positive and negative so we now have x is equal to 4 plus 6.325 over 6 or 4 minus 6.325 everything over 6 so simplifying this from our calculator x is 1.721 or negative 0 0.387 and that is the end of solution to problem 2b and that is the end of solution also to problem 2 and this is where we are ending this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all problems on quadratic equations don't forget to subscribe to our channel remember also to put on the notification bell for subsequent videos from our channel until we meet again goodbye